Hey guys! So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Pocahontas Colors of the Wind cake. I posted a picture of it on Instagram when I finished it and I can't stop staring at it. It's so pretty. Let's get started. To create this cake, I'm using a homemade bacon pan. It's almost the exact same size as my Pocahontas printout so I don't have that much extra cake. I wasn't sure if this was gonna work because it's just tinfoil, but it worked out well. I'm definitely gonna be doing this again. I leveled off my cake and turned it into two level layers with my leveling tool. Level, 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 level. I placed my Pokemon to sprint out on top and then just cut it out using a paring knife. Now I'm using a butter pecan box cake. It's so good. I love it. I think this is my favorite cake flavor. Placing some vanilla buttercream in the middle, adding on our second layer, and then I place it onto my cake board. Uh, and give it a crumb coat, just to make sure that none of the cake crumbs appear on the final layer of buttercream. So first on the top, and then on the sides. Place it into the fridge. The fridge. I placed it into the fridge. So I placed it into the fridge for about 30 minutes just so that the butter could solidify and then I gave it a second coat of buttercream. Taking my cake scraper, just flattening off the sides and then using my offset spatula to flatten off the top. Back into the fridge to cool. Now we're gonna create some of her features with some black fondant. Now I took my Pocahontas printout and I cut out all of the black features on her face. So her eyebrows, her eyes, nose, lips, ears, and that jawline. So desirable, isn't it? I place this onto my black fondant and just cut out all of the features using an X-Acto knife. Be very careful. Some of these are really thin. I really want it to look like Pocahontas, not Pocahontas' distant cousin, Pocahontas. Once you've finished all of that, we can start doing some artistic stuff. This is my favorite part of the cake, and I'm just using a whole bunch of different icings to create this effect. So I want her face to look kind of like Paint like watercolor, maybe even like colored pencils too. Um, so I'm squirting on some salmon color icing, um, then some yellow orange icing, and just a little bit of violet and purple towards the bottom of her face. Uh, it looks like crap, I know, but it'll look gorgeous afterwards. I'm just going to blend the colors together by smearing all of the different colored icings. It looks like a sunset, you guys. It looks so pretty. Cutting, cutting, cutting. So I cut out Pocahontas' face and I'm actually going to trace this onto a piece of parchment paper and then cut out the exact same shape. I'm gonna use this to make sure that I've covered her entire face with blended icing. You wanna make sure that your buttercream is hard so it doesn't stick to the parchment paper. Then I took it out, placed my parchment paper where her head is supposed to be, took my offset spatula and some black food coloring and just went crazy. I covered the edges of the parchment paper as well as the rest of the cake. The parchment paper protects the silhouette of her face. You don't have to worry about it when you're icing the rest of her hair. And once you finish and you lift up the parchment paper, you get these really clean lines. Perfect. This looks perfect. I got really excited when I finished this part. Now I'm adding on some white buttercream just so you get the white of her eyes and her mouth. And then I added on all of her face fondant features. Now I'm going to grab some icing tips and a whole bunch of colored icing and finish this baby. I think Colors of the Wind is one of the most visually arresting Disney songs. You know, I love the way that they make these vibrant color leaves move and dance like it's actual wind. I wanted to make sure I captured that in this cake, and I think I did. I love this cake, you guys. It doesn't look like a cake, but it tastes like a bomb dessert. It got so many likes on my Instagram when I posted the picture. Yeah, all of you guys thought it was incredible. It's so pretty. So I decided to do this cake after I did my Ariel cake. So Miss Riley XO asked me to do Pocahontas. So I want to say thank you because Pocahontas was like on the list, but like further down. And then when you said it, I just, it just, the gears in my head started churning. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, I post everything on Instagram and Facebook as soon as I finish creating it. So if you want to be up to date on what I'm making, Head over there. I love you guys. Subscribe. It's somewhere on the bottom. Bye.